Let me tell you the purpose of every beginning. There are three beginnings. First beginning with God, second beginning with Jesus, and the third beginning in the church, which is with the Holy Spirit. In all the three beginnings, you've got to understand one thing. Man, God is after man. Hallelujah. And God needs man. That's the reason he has to make so many beginnings for us. Amen. The reason God is doing everything is because God cannot live with man, without man. Hallelujah. God is not happy with the angelic world. That's the reason God made his own image and likeness so that we can be partaker of the glory of God. And God never wanted to live that. That's the reason he sent beginning after beginning after beginning so that till the man can redeem to the glory of God, God cannot have rest. Glory Jesus. And the purpose of every beginning, man to restore to God. Hallelujah. And the second thing is man to be delivered from every kind of hindrance so that he can come and worship God. Hallelujah. So restoration is to do with something to your spirit and as a deliverance is something to do with your soul and to your body. These two are very, very important. And let me tell you, in every beginning, God used the word. Hallelujah. And in the beginning, the first New Te Old Testament, God sent his word. God used the word. In the second beginning, through Jesus, God sent the word. He said, he sent his word and healed them. Bible tells me. And, God, and uh, uh, he said, Lazarus, uh, come out. He sent his word. Am I reaching you? In the Old Testament, God sent the word. In the New Testament, Jesus sent the word, but in the church, it's the Holy Spirit that is speaking to us. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Spirit that's working. It's the Holy Spirit that's sending the word. It's the Holy Spirit that's restoring you. It's the Holy Spirit that's working with the problem in your soul, spirit, body. So this is the time of the Holy Ghost to use again the same tool, which is called the word of God. Amen. Wonderful. And... Uh, the important thing is, the word has got a creative power. Hallelujah. Can I hear that word? What is that word? If the word is not creative, it cannot do anything with you, anything with me. But the word of God, which is a creative word, it can do everything and anything. Hallelujah. Now we sang that. Is that? Lord, nothing is impossible. You move everything possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything unbreakable will be broken. Hallelujah. Immovable will be moved. That is through the word of God. If you thought this word in the church, I'm not preaching my word. I'm preaching the word of God. So how the word of God will come? In the beginning, it's sent by word. God. In the New Testament, Jesus sent the word. The word is the same, but it's sent by three different destinations and three different people. Am I right? Am I? Come on, come on church. In the Old Testament, the destination of the people are different. It is for one group of people. But in the New Testament, the destiny of the sending word is totally different. But in the third beginning, in the church, the destiny of sending the word by the Holy Spirit is different. It is God who sent the word in the beginning, the New Testament, uh, Old Testament. It is Jesus who sent the word in the New Testament. In the, uh, in the church, it's the Holy Spirit that sends the word. Whether it's God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit, they're using the word. Hallelujah. You know when? Till you restore. Till you completely restore. Once we finish the life here, something interesting I tell you. You go to heaven. God don't say that. He send his word to Raj. No. God will speak to you. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? God doesn't need the word when you are with him. God needs the word to take you to him. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit. God needs the word so that the word can take you and place you before Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus says. I'm interceding for you to my father so that you can be with me so that you and me become one in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
What a joy to me. So when you are going to heaven, your word is not used. It is God who speaks to you directly. It is God who intervenes with you. How? Because in the when you when you go be with the Lord, you don't be in the sinful world. You live in the glory. When there is a glory, there is no word. It is God himself. Hallelujah. Word is God. God is word. Amen. Hallelujah. The word and God are the same. But the, but the usage of the word and God did be different because of the circumstances we are living in today. Because we are not living in the glory of God. We are living in the world that is full of sin and sickness. Amen. Glory be to God. You understand now. 